My name is Imran Malik and I teach uh, different cyber security units uh, in the School of Science at Edith Cowan University. I also teach one unit at Edith Cowan College, uh, which is computer security. My name is Eko Manku. I'm a second year cyber security student at ECU. I got started at ECC because I'd finished my E11 studies in Kenya and I needed to have a bridging gap between ECU and, and my high school studies. So I got into ECC, I finished my diploma and I got straight into second year of ECU. ECC covers of the first year of cybersecurity course. So our students spend their first year at ECC and once they successfully complete their first year at ECC, they come and join the cybersecurity course from the second year at ECU. The courses at ECC were very involving because the classes are very tiny and the lecturers really had time to talk one-on-one -on -one with the students. The course at ECC really helped me because it kind of transitioned me between high school and university so I feel like that made me understand how I need to go about my studies. There is no requirement of any skill before coming into this uh, course. All we want from students is that if they're ready to face the challenges, come and join ECU. Then from there on we develop their skills in the security domain. As an ECC student, you can access the ECU library at any, any time given. You can access the e-labs, you can borrow books from the library, you can access classrooms here. And so when I got into my second year at ECU, it wasn't a whole different environment. To me, I was quite used to it and it really helped me with that. Our entire course is directly aligned with the industry requirements and uh, we have got state-of-the-art facilities uh, which no other university has, uh, honestly. So that's why we are the best in the market in terms of cybersecurity. The Koreans in cybersecurity are very, very big in Australia right now. And in the third year of ECU, on your last semester, you get to work in the actual workforce. So they place you in a company for about three months or so. And after that, you can graduate and you possibly get a job with the company you did work for. Our students who perform well in their first two years, we attach them to the government sectors and the private industry where they go and work uh, uh, with them on their projects for one semester. And that uh, gives most of our students an opportunity. The moment they get the degree from us, they can start their career from that organization. There's a massive shortage of cybersecurity professionals in Australia and overseas. So even our students who are into their final year at ECU, they get five, six figures offers uh, from the industry. So the lecturers at both ECC and ECU are very, very knowledgeable. A lot of them work in the industry, a lot of them work with the police, a lot of them work with the government. And just recently ECU is currently making a new security operation centre, or SOC as we call it. So the security operation centre is used industry-wide and ECU has made it for uh, the third year students specifically and it helps them gain knowledge into how the workings of actual big security companies are. If someone uh, is feeling, is hesitant that this course is going to be a difficult one, it's not the case uh, and all our lectures are very forthcoming, very welcoming and we just work very close to each and every student, you know, so that they can um, understand all the basics of cybersecurity to make them a good cybersecurity professional. My advice to potential students would be Come with a genuine interest, come knowing that you're going to work and you're going to get out what you've put into it 